Welcome to Andy's Little Sci-Fi Horror Show. My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. And I'm hanging out at Drew's house. It's a little ten minute window to the rest of the world. And we are talking about the domesticated male here. Yes. Exhibit A. Notice the homer stands. Remote, Remote hand, hand. Drink by his side. One half of the kids in bed. And I'm over here for a visit. And we're going to do what guys do on a Friday night when they become domesticated. Such as Exhibit A over here. We're going to peruse the on-demand films. some worthwhile bit of horror or sci-fi right. on there. Sure. See, the problem, when they clump horror and sci-fi together, they, what they really mean, sci-fi. In horror. Here, this is actually a really bad knockoff of a movie. I'm talking about Aliens vs. Avatars, and guess what? Here's the preview. The Avatar. <laughs> <I take. laughs> All right, stop it, stop it, stop it. Avatars? Right? right? You're going to take James Cameron's Avatar? Really? Let's be honest, he didn't create it. It's a planet of Smurfs! Very tall Smurfs. Very tall Smurfs. Zombie invasion. Huh, that looks promising. Wanna take a look at the preview? A alien zombie invasion? Yeah. Alright, sure. <coughs> Strange lights over their town, the night of January. We went both sighting over North Texas. Down in Texas, he's a boss this morning. Yeah, alright, kill us, kill us, kill us. This is not working. Of course not. Let's go down. Alligator X. Alligator X. Or is it Alligator 10? Wow, that's not a ripoff of anything. <laughs> Anchor Bay. That's pretty funny. He said it couldn't be done. We may have a man eating gator in our swamp. <laughs> Oh my gosh. It's Free Willy. What was with that Free Willy moment? It's kind of like the shark eating the plane. Let's move further down. By the devil's hands, child's eye, the clinic. How does that play? Like? Okay, cross. <laughs> Death Angel December. Drive angry. I was just in that movie. <laughs> Evil Bong. Yep. Should we show them that? No, uh, it's not. A horrible way to die. Horrid. This is howling we born. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. This is, you know what my demand is? This is a repository for all the bad sci-fi horror movies nobody wanted to watch. I thought I had crap on my video shelves. Do you believe in the boogeyman? Friday night, hanging out at your house, hanging out at your house, later on, yeah. what are you in the mood for? Don't know. Alright, we'll wait until the kids are actually asleep asleep before we deal with that. Alright, I think we've got a winner. This movie is called Super Hybrid, and it's basically about a bunch of people stuck in a car garage, and a thing imitates cars and basically starts killing them. <laughs> we gotta order some food. Get the phone. As the tagline goes, this car doesn't run on fuel. It, it runs, runs on blood. blood. So I got the phone. Yeah. Come on, dude. Order it in. The, uh, and of the red you? menu from the Omino's Day. You know, it seems like this to give women reason to make fun of men. Basically. Who cares? We're going to watch a bloody car movie and eat greasy food. The way America was made. Or at least the way America should be. This is what makes life awesome. We are going to get buffalo chicken pizza. That's right. Not only getting like the greasiness and the cheesiness of the pizza, but we're going to get the heartburn of the buffalo chicken. And it's going to be delivered to our door. God bless America. Only a blah, blah, blah. blah well, how, many, like, how many directions is the coupon going, dude? Pizza. Omino's. Omino's Day. Now we can say their name. The blankety blank pizza. It's Sorrento's. You want a small pizza? Yeah, I want to do, and do it in an Australian accent. <laughs> do it. 
Good evening, I'd like to order a pizza for uh, delivery, please. Uh, yes, uh, it's a 508. Yes, you are very correct, sir, that's the one. That's uh, correct, that's the right address. I would like a uh, buffalo chicken uh, pizza. It's small. Medium. I'll uh, take a medium, please. Medium buffalo chicken pizza. And, uh, oh, and I'd like to get a uh, 10 piece um, barbecue chicken wings. Um, make that an 8 piece then. An 8 piece. Yes, 8. Um, no, I believe that's alright. We'll be paying in uh, cash. That's fantastic. Thank you very much and have a good evening. Alright, bye bye. I'm not sure what language that way, what kind of accent that was, but it's something. <laughs> I, I'm I'm tired. I'm just saying, it kind of seemed like it got broken out of the um, Australian into a little bit of English there. No, you pip, don't pip. understand. You don't understand. The Australian accent, it's uh, like the uh, like the British accent, but it's a little more lazily. Yes, but you didn't do the lazily. You didn't draw it out very much. Well, you know, the guy didn't exactly understand what I was saying. I Especially understand. when uh, I said that he, I wanted an eight piece. I uh, pip pip. I wanted an eight piece chicken nuggets. Eight eight piece uh, buffalo uh, uh, barbecue chicken wings. <laughs> he apparently didn't understand that. Now, if I had gone into a um, different kind of accent, that would be hilarious. If like, perhaps the accent I, uh, the <laughs> like perhaps I uh, speak like Russian and speak in Russian talk. Uh, you know, I'd like a buffalo chicken with a pizza pizza pie. Like a, a buffalo chicken pizza pie with the uh, the. Uh, the BBQ, BBQ chicken uh, <laughs> buffalo. Uh, <coughs> I wouldn't be eating a BBQ pizza. Some guy who's an Australian came by my door. He said he ordered some pizzas. And I don't know what he was talking about, but I'll order, take the pizzas off you. I'll take the pizzas, sir. Uh, um, I was going to have some made and potatoes, but I decided to have a pizza instead. And you ready to watch? Super Hybrid. In HD. Mm-hmm. Excellent. I'll be right outside. Yeah. Oh, bye-bye. We got the movie on pause. We've got the money in our hand. How much is it? Was that enough? It's about uh, $23, but we're going to give him a nice tip. So, let's, let's go on and see how it goes. Thank you. Good night. We got our pizza, we got our wings, and we're going to watch the movie. Now, let's get going. Well, so far, the movie's got a cool car and a chick in it. So, we're doing alright. A lot of cliches in these types of movies. Mm. You have the overworked girlfriend, the self-absorbed idiot, the veteran. An unnamed mechanic is boxing on the set to check on the car. Yeah, he's got a long life. That's what you call oh, a listen, disposable Listen, character. listen, Oh, John Carpenter. Oh, he's getting in the car. Oh! Wow! Okay, they get props. I didn't see that coming. Oh, that was great. That was good. The fat goon. Mm. Not on this level, but I I'm give him to the fourth right reel. Now. Yeah. All because all mechanics look like her. Uh, oh, geez, he's got headlights. <laughs> this guy's dead. <laughs> if Christine taught us anything, this guy's gonna die. 34 deaths to the gallon. The secretary's being attacked in her own oh, office. Wow, it's just like the car. It's, it's just like the car. That, that was a complete, like, homage to that movie or rip off, however yeah. you wanna look at it. Wow, just right in the boyfriend's nice car. A terrible waste of a T bird. Well, that concludes our. Manly movie nights and our study of the, uh, the captive, domesticated male. The captive man. My name's Andy. And I'm Drew. Good night. Do you believe in the boogeyman?